Hey guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. Chris and I are back out here in the wood yard the next day. This is the day after the last video where we got this conveyor running finally. Um, we're gonna split some wood. We're gonna we're gonna really give this thing a, a try and put it through its paces. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Um, Chris got everything warmed up. I just put a I just put a little flap down here to prevent the shards and stuff from getting caught in the sprocket. We're going to dump this dump trailer full of really nice looking size ash rounds. Sean and his guys did a hell of a job getting all this stuff packed in there. It's gonna make a ton of really nice, really fast firewood. Um, so the plan is to dump this thing over here in front of the proposed shelter. That way, once we're done splitting up all this today, everything can get moved to the final resting place, which is gonna be underneath this roof once we get the roof built. But we wanna get this stuff out of the way first. Um, so we're gonna dump that and then just split straight into the dump trailer. size of my hand. That'd be real quick through the four-way or the six-way. Oh, that's a heavy load. That is a full trailer. One piece wedged into the corner. <laughs> I was almost thinking the PV up over the edge. Got a little bit bigger towards the front of the trailer. This is still gonna be great splitting. All right, so Chris is gonna back this thing up and basically jackknife it so that it's underneath the conveyor. Obviously this isn't how we normally have things set up, but this is how we're gonna do it today. I think that's good. We don't, what we found is that this thing kind of shoots the firewood a little bit more, uh, so we don't need it quite halfway because then it ends up going over the other side. So we'll try this setup for now. Um, we're definitely gonna have to like chalk the wheels or something though, because it is on a slight hill here. Like these front tires aren't even on the ground. So not quite ideal, but um, you know, it, it, it'll work, it'll work.
Okay guys, we are all set. Um, before we begin, lately I've been getting in the comments a little bit of flack saying why am I always the one that's running the splitter and Chris is always the one feeding it or, or uh, you know, doing the other task. So I just want to clear up the air here. Tell the people why am I always splitting? Because I am the muscle. That's all that I am. I'm. Oh, that, <laughs> no, I'm, that's I'm kidding. Change. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I I've run this splitter before in past videos. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I don't like to do it. It's all like very backwards to me. I don't think that like the wood that I'm putting through is necessarily the right size. It's either too big, too small. I can't get the hang of it. I would much rather stay on this side and move wood onto the log table and get it into the dump trailer. It sounds crazy because it's definitely- Wait, hold on. This is upside down. Oh boy. Hopefully they got all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm, I'm really yeah. screwed. Uh, anyway, it, it sounds uh, wrong because this is definitely the heavier, more like back-breaking side of things, but I enjoy it. it. This is like my therapy side and that's like my headache side. So I, I'd much rather stay on my therapy side. All right guys, so you've heard it from the horse's mouth or the cheese's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like running the splitter. Uh, no. that, that's just like the bottom line and you know, whatever he wants to do, that's fine. He's definitely run the splitter before. Yeah. I, he knows I that if he like wants it. to run the splitter, that's all he has to say. I frequently ask him if he wants to like switch halfway through our splitting sessions and he never does. So. Uh, hopefully that'll clear the air and uh, let's get to splitting. Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh, the other thing, we're gonna try the conveyor today, not at full throttle, at like a lower throttle. Um, see if we can conserve a little gas and see if the conveyor can keep up with the splitter. So yeah. that being said, beyond switching that rubber flap, we didn't do that, but let's just give it a shot. Yeah. All right. The chain almost rides smoother at this slow idle. Yeah. <coughs> now, let's be cognizant of the fact that it's going slower. It might not throw the wood quite as far. Yeah. Like right on the edge of the trailer. Huh? Right on the inside edge of the trailer. Maybe we gotta move the trailer over more. That or we fill this side and then bump it up and fill the other side. I'd like to try and like get it in the middle and see if that's possible. Why don't you push it over, like pick it up and push it over with the forks?
Okay guys, about 20 minutes of runtime. We forgot to fill the splitter, so we ran out of fuel. But the conveyor is working awesome. It's at a real low idle. Um, and let's see what we've done as far as wood. We got this in the trailer so far. Kind of hard to see. Um, there we go. About 20 minutes and uh, it's fallen right in the center of the trailer for the most part, which is great. And everything seems to be working really well. Um, Chris and I are pretty happy with these results so far. This catch thing down on the bottom is doing its, its job. Chris threw over an IBC tote over here to just grab what we can off there and toss it into here. Um, everything's working well and we are making a nice dent in this pile. Let's keep on going. Right, guys this is gonna be the stopping point where Chris has to leave us yeah. he uh, he's got some stuff to do this afternoon but we split for an hour and 45 minutes so far and we put a real nice dent in this pile this is all oak that was kind of mixed in there so we're keeping that separate but we really don't have much ash left and in an hour and 45 minutes this is what we got split into the sure track dump trailer. Now, the right side is more full than the left. Um, if the trailer was over a little bit more, you know, to the right, or if the conveyor was going a little faster, it might have spit off into the, you know, more evenly. But I don't think we're ever gonna get this perfectly, you know, no. centered. It, it would take too much time. It's not worth it. Yeah, for the amount that we actually move the trailer around and it's not specific to the firewood i think you know this is the best it's going to get and once this is full why not stack it all up and right empty it out it, exactly um it might it might be a little bit different if we were splitting to order like we were splitting right green wood and just getting it out of here as soon as we split it yeah i wanted uh, to maximize the trailer yeah but i think this is great for our purposes at the moment yeah it's a huge upgrade the conveyor has been working flawlessly that we have had not a single issue yeah um yeah knock on wood <laughs> um the trailer's working good we're actually figuring out that it's a little tongue heavy when we start in the you know filling it from the front so we might have to start filling it from the back just to give you know the tractor a fighting chance here to lift it up with the three-point hitch it lifts it up just 
it, it's a lot of weight in the front before it starts getting any weight in the back. Um, but overall, this whole thing is working really well. The paddles are working really well. The trough is working really well. It's all pushing itself right into the conveyor. So we are super happy. Yeah, we've only had like one piece fall off in this trough and table setup. Right. And I'm very surprised by that. <laughs> yeah, I'm super impressed. I mean, this all, again, credit goes to our other buddy, Chris. We told him what he, you know, what we wanted, and he definitely delivered. Um, I think it's safe to say that it works well. So we can, after you know, we get all this split up, definitely get this stuff painted to prevent any rust on those fresh welds, and we'll be in action. Well, all right, guys, I think that's going to wrap this one up. I'm probably going to keep splitting um, the, up the rest of this load and see if we can fit it in the trailer once Chris leaves. But so maybe I'll include a little clip after the ending here what the trailer looks like full but i'm super happy yeah the all the modifications that we made to our conveyor have been honest improvements they've been uh much needed improvements too from yeah throwing the chain so many times having to break it put it back together uh we haven't had to do that yet here uh just while we were building it and <laughs> right a, a million times while yeah. we were building it but i mean for what, given the equipment that we have, I think this, now that this is done, I think we have reached firewood splitting processing perfection. Given the equipment that we have, I'm gonna say that a third time. Given the equipment that we have, we don't have a processor, we don't nope. have front end loaders, nope. we don't have, you know, obviously we don't have everything to make this the most whatever you guys know what i'm saying this works really well i truly think that now our bottleneck our is, bottleneck is a splitter yeah our bottleneck is a splitter the fact that it doesn't have any cooling for the hydraulic oil it's making the auto cycle um, malfunction once the oil gets up to a hotter temperature like it is now it doesn't kick back on its own um, it takes longer for it to kick back it is still spitting out some fluid, not as much as it used to, but it is still spitting out fluid. So 100% our bottleneck right now is the splitter. Um, so, you know, we're not gonna go out and buy a new splitter right now. Um, I, I don't have the money to do that. The, the Rugged Maze splitter works really well, um, but we, we have now gotten to the point where, or we've gone from the point where this was, everything else was the bottleneck Yeah. when we first started out. And now this is. So that just goes to show, you know, with a little bit of ingenuity, some, you know, thinking, some, some welding, some, you know, whatever, tinkering, we've come a long way. And I'm super, super happy to say that, you know, it's all working really well. So it's a great way to start out the new year. Um, I'm super happy, looking forward to see what happens in the future with all different stuff, equipment, you know, videos. We're going to keep filming it all. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go back and see how we started in, yeah, in the beginning. It's, <laughs> it's, we, uh, we were just the splitter in our friend's backyard. <laughs> right, no IBC totes. Well, actually my first video was how to make an IBC tote for firewood, so I take that back. We did have IBC totes, but it was drastically different. We had another mm -hmm. conveyor at one point. What a piece of garbage, POS. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that we decided to, to purchase this thing and put some money into it because it's a game changer, it yeah. truly is. Nice job. It was well. Um, as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button down below. Any questions, comments, or feedback on this whole thing, um, throw it in that comment section. The one thing I think that would make it go faster is if Rug and Maid offered a box wedge. I wish yeah. they offered a box wedge for these things, but you know, whatever. Such is life. Um, so. We Thanks can try for to watching. fabricate one. We could try and fabricate one. Then Chris would have yet another project. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> he oh, loves them. He loves them. He does. Yeah, he loves them. He complains a little bit, but he does love them. <laughs> um, so as always, guys, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. Okay, guys, I'm calling that full. Just finished splitting. It was maybe another half an hour or something by myself up to the doors. I uh, pulled down the pile in spots. 
with this pitchfork so I could try and get a little bit more on. Um, we probably could fit the rest if we had gotten it filled more evenly in the front of the trailer, but that is all that's left out of this trailer. And I was kind of expecting not to be able to fit it all just because when all these rounds came to us, my neighbor Sean, you know, and his guys cut them all up and loading them in the trailer by hand. They were all neatly stacked in the trailer. Um, so, you know, obviously there's some airspace there between the rounds, but um, for the most part here, the trailer is full except for like this front corner. So, super stoked about that. Super stoked on this conveyor. We'll catch you on the next one.